Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your November 27th through December 3rd weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Virgo. I had a Virgo harassing me for her reading. And that's why you guys are last. I do apologize, but um, yeah. So this is for the sign of Virgo. Normally I'd put you guys right up towards the top because I'm Virgo Ascendant, but I can't reward that kind of behavior. I can't, I mean, I just cannot. I want to clarify that she was for the general reading for the general reading okay and she was actually did it on the Libra reading so she could have been a Libra you know and she and her partner might have been a Virgo so that, that that's probably it because Virgos aren't harassing I know they're not so I'm, I'm thinking it was probably the Libra who wanted the Virgo reading so I do apologize I love you guys I really do I'm Virgo ascendant anyway the basis of your reading is bringing peace back to your life okay so I think that many of you are focusing on that this week bringing some peace back you could have some interest there could be a new sexual partner here it's time for a transformation a rebirth I think you're moving away from something that no longer serves you if you aren't moving away you're certainly thinking about it um, I think maybe some of you have lost some of your um, happiness and I'm sorry to say that but it feels like some of you may be feeling kind of bored or you know at, at a stagnant stagnant point in your life where you're feeling like you're wanting more excitement okay because this queen of wands is reversed you're you're bored you're bored and um it feels like you need to have some faith okay you need to have faith in yourself I see that you do you may be losing faith in your future you know you may be thinking you know I, I'm stuck here I'm stuck in this mud and I'm in you I think you're losing faith because you the excitement just isn't there um, and I say I'm talking about faith because we have three seven sevens are about faith a couple of them are reversed so that tells me you're losing faith um, I want to tell you that your wishes will be fulfilled and you know it may take a while because I think that you have to do the right thing for you we have the justice card right up there it is upright you have to do the right thing for you if you don't nobody else is going to your future is in your hands your future in love is in your hands it is okay right now I think there's not a lot of love okay that ace of cups is reversed you're not feeling it and or your partner isn't feeling it somebody isn't feeling the love okay and now it's time for you to honor yourself to be honest with yourself to do the right thing so that you can have your renewal you can really have that peace of mind you've been seeking so that your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled the fact of the matter is is you have to take action you have to do the right thing and you have to be honest okay the door needs to close this knight of pentacles is re is reversed you know you have all these doubts inside of your head that oh what's gonna happen I don't know if I can do this I'm not sure if I'm good enough I'm not sure I don't know you have a lot of self-doubt this this nine of wands tells me that's unnecessary okay you have the exp life experience even if it's not in this lifetime you have the knowledge to get through this you can do it you need to stop deceiving yourself deceiving yourself okay you need to it feels like you are stuck in the mud and you don't want to be but you you're too you're too afraid you're trying to be grateful for all that you have right now it's like you know I have all this I should just be grateful you know I should be grateful for what I have right now because if I uh, if I change it what's gonna happen 
you know, I think that's where you're at. It's like, I'm grateful, but I'm not happy. Okay, that's what I see. I feel like um, many of you may be feeling withdrawn because you're so unhappy. Withdrawn with the King of Cups reverse. You're feeling withdrawn because you're unhappy. You're trying to make everybody else happy, but you. Okay, you're not putting yourself up there first. And if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You have the power to create your future, but you're not doing it. The magician is reversed. You have the power. You have the resources within you. You do, but you're not doing it. You're not using them because you're letting fear drive. You're letting fear of what everybody else is going to think, how what what the impact is going to be. You know, you're, you're trying to take the practical approach. That's what you do. You're a Virgo. You're a nurse sign. You're trying to be very practical. The fact of the matter is, sometimes you have to put yourself even above that, okay? That's what the Justice card is here for, to say, put yourself first, please, please. There's a heaviness that you're carrying. You, it's surrounding a choice, okay? There's a heaviness surrounding a choice. You're carrying around with you. You know that you're not happy, but you're not ready to let it go. You're not ready to let it go out of fear, okay? It feels like, you know, there's a loss in, or there's an upcoming loss. That five of cups, that's a loss, you know, something not turning out the way you had hoped. That's the way it is. Sometimes that's the way life is. Sometimes people just come into your life to teach you a lesson or for you to teach them a lesson or both, you know. If you're bored and unexcited, you know, you need to take action. Because you only live this life once, this lifetime, one time. You want to make the best of it, okay? I feel like you have really been expecting things to get better. You've done everything that you can do, hoping for it to get better. But the fact of the matter is, it's not getting better. Things aren't changing, all right? You have the power within you. But you have to be willing to use those powers within you to change. This tells me you're not using them. You're, you're burying them inside and you're not using your own power to change. This is the magician reversed. You can create change. You can create whatever you want. This is about manifestation. But you're not doing it. Okay, you're not. I think instead you're just re withdrawing yourself from the situation. Okay, that's what's happening. All right, that's what I see. Um, and I feel like you're deceiving yourself with that Seven of Swords reverse right next to Justice. You're deceiving yourself. It's time for a transformation. It's time for a renewal with the start and the death right next to each other. I mean, it's time for a renewal. It's time for you to bring excitement back to your life. You just have to have faith. Okay, you just have to have faith. You want excitement, you want love, you want to heal, you want your hopes and wishes to be fulfilled. You must do it. You have to take action. Okay, you, something has to end with that death card. That's an ending. Okay, once you let something end, I bet this Ace of Cups will flip over and be upright. But you have to take action. You have to make the choice that's right for you. Okay, right here. Right now, you're stuck in the mud because you don't want to disrupt the peace. You know, you don't want to disrupt the, the, you don't want the conflicts. You don't want the legal matters. You don't want the strife. You just don't want to face the hard work that it's going to take to move forward and follow your own path. Yeah, sometimes when you follow your own path, you have to struggle to get there. And you just don't want the struggle, so you just rather, you know, be stuck and be unhappy and be bored and dream. I think there's somebody from the past you're thinking about. It doesn't mean that you dated this person in the past. It could have been. But this could be somebody you knew as, your, as a child. And this person is on your mind heavily. But you're not doing anything about it. And if they're not on your mind, they're thinking about you and you don't even know it. But I think you do know it, okay? And you need to let go. This is 
This is the Four of Pentacles. You need to let go. You need to take action. Okay? You need to honor your soul and you're not doing that. This is the Empress reversed. You have to honor your soul. This woman does when she's upright. You're not. See, she's green because you're, you're not happy. Your hopes and wishes aren't being fulfilled wherever you're at right now. They aren't because you're not doing the right thing for you. And because of that, you're aching inside. Aching. But you're so filled with compassion for everybody else that you're able to hide it so well. Nobody even knows that you are aching inside because you are covering it up so well with the love that you are giving out to everybody else. Time to wake up, my dear. Oh my God, I got, I got the goosebumps all over. This right here, you're in denial, okay? This is a judgment card reversed. You're in denial. Usually it's a wake-up call. It's awakening. It's epiphany. You are in complete denial. You know what you need to do, but you have buried it. You've buried those thoughts. You've buried those feelings because you don't want to hurt anybody else. That's what's going on here. All right? And you're sacrificing true love. This two of cups is reversed along with this ace of cups. You're sacrificing true love for yourself by not honoring yourself, by not doing the right thing. There's a reason why I did yours last. I have the constant goosebumps, constant, and they have not left, okay? So you must free yourself. This right here, free yourself now, right now. This is feeling, being trapped in a situation that you don't need to be trapped in anymore. The Eight of Swords. It's time for you to stop denying what you want, your wishes, your desires. You have to use your resources inside to get through this. Where are they? Are they so buried that you can't find them anymore? No, no. You know where they are. How strong are you? Maybe that's the lesson you need to learn at this time in your life. How strong are you? You need to honor your soul. Okay, with that Empress reversed, you're not. All right, it's time to honor your soul. Love yourself first and everything else will fall into place. I'm going to shuffle you one of my whispers of love. You have a soulmate. You do. You have a soulmate here. But you not taking the steps that you need to take is hindering everything. Is hindering the excitement that you seek for this person. The love that you seek for this person. The transformation that you need. It's hindering it because you're not doing the right thing for you. Okay? Yeah, it's a big decision. It is. There's a big decision that needs to be made with that justice card. Yeah. Yeah, it's a heavy one. It's about a lesson that needs to be learned. You need to love yourself. You matter. This is a mother as well. Earth mother. And she's reversed. Don't think you're helping anybody by not loving yourself. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. <laughs> It's true. There is a soulmate for you, but you're hindering it. And then this is somebody from your past. Doesn't mean you dated them. You may have, but it may be somebody even from a past life. There is a deep connection here, but you not taking action is just stalling this whole thing. 
This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Everything happens for a reason. Know that some of the people that come into our life are th just there to help teach us a lesson. Oh, they do this for me all the time. I'm going to start over. Everything happens for a reason. Know that some of the people that come into your life are there just to help teach us a lesson and make a real impact on our life. <laughs> Whether this is a love, soulmate relationship, or a relationship for growth it is important to you in this lifetime. What you are going through right now was here to teach you a lesson. And I told you that earlier. I didn't even, I, I don't remember none of these cards, okay? I don't. I have to read out of the book for this one. So everything I said was completely true. Whatever you're going through right now was to teach you something about yourself, something that would teach you growth. Follow your own path, please. Please. Virgo, this is what I have for you. Talk to you later.